time to make the coffee. Why is morning so early? Oh, I've really got to think about getting an automatic coffee pot. That might be worth it. See, in the, after a cup or two. This is our coffee and tea breakfast station. And we've got some sugar and non-dairy creamer, some syrups, uh, coffee biscotti, and oh, that coffee pot needs to brew faster. Come on, baby. Keep going. And for Andrew, he's got his little morning note and an oatmeal bar and his cups already and why why is this like the longest five minutes of the whole day come on you can do it i believe in you come on come on hurry up hey kids i'm in the parking lot at the home depot and really i know it's not the best view in the entire world hello truck thanks for pulling in right into my shot appreciate that but the sky is so pretty today i just wanted to show you and i'm gonna go in here and see if i can find some bargains i always check over here at the reduced bag goods bin because everything in this bin um probably the bag has broken maybe some of it spilled out maybe it hasn't maybe somebody taped it up and i just look over here to see if there's anything good and for me that would be mulch um gravel manure soil potting soil what have you no winners over here that's okay so far i haven't seen anything that i couldn't live without That's a shame. I'm feeling spindy today. It's burning a hole in my pocket. You ever get like that? Trowel and cultivator. Okay. All right. Well, I've got a trowel and I've got a shovel. And honestly, I need another gardening tool. I can need a hole in my head. So, yep. No clearances for me today. Ooh, and now I'm at the very back of the store. This is more often where I will find treasures. I found a pretty rug here once that was more than 60% off. Oh, we've got some light fixtures. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. More light fixtures. I don't know what that is. And more light fixtures. I want a, a vanity. A vanity. Well, that's nice. I don't need a vanity, but they've got one here. Looks like the box is beat up. I bet it's great on the inside, though. We're going to go look at some uh, the wood pile. Okay, we're over here at Molding Cutting Center. And the reason we're over here is these little bits of scrap. Um, if you're ever doing a craft project, or if you're just missing a little tiny bit of molding or what have you, and don't need the whole thing, and you come to your Home Depot, they usually always have these little bits of molding from whatever they've cut for someone else. And more often than not, if you ask nicely, they will let you take those home for free if you need them. Okay, here's my little mini grocery haul. Got some red onions, uh, some sweet onions, some not so ripe Roma tomatoes. The big bargain of the day was butter was on sale at Albertsons for $2.50 per pound. Um, I did have to get unsalted. I usually do prefer salted, but beggars can't be choosers. 
I got three boxes of granola bars. These crunchy dipped um, granola bars are delicious. And they are crunchy, but not too crunchy. Uh, some sweet and salty cashew flavor. And then also the dipped salted caramel. These were on sale for $2.99. But I can tell you that Fetch, Ibotta, and Coupons.com all have a 50 cent back per box limit five so um yeah clip those these were my free items got a free uh granola what did i get i got honey and oats and then this was crazy and not something that i would ever buy but um you know if it's free it's for me uh stuffed with milk chocolate marshmallows um i guess it's like all you need is a graham cracker and you have a s'more. Not something that I would typically buy. But we are having a little get together um, mid-February with my family. And we'll probably fire up the fire pit and uh, get the sticks out and the kids can just go to town. I like to get them all shared up and then send them home at about 9 o'clock at night bouncing off the walls. It's that time again. What's for dinner? So I ran around town. I did some things around the house early this morning. I did all the things that I had to do. And now it's dinner time and I'm tired. And kind of getting a late start. So I got to hustle my bustle. What's for dinner? Kind of a chunky dinner. A little bit. So we've got these honey, bass, honey battered breast tenders in, from Tyson. And they are delicious. And the batter is very good. And the chicken is pretty good for a frozen pre-prepared chicken product that we're going to heat up. And then we're going to have some McCain craft beer batter and thin cut french fries to go with them. And then for our veg, oh, hello. we're going to have this $1.84 discounted veg mix and it looks like it's got carrots and broccoli and cauliflower and I will just put this in a microwave safe dish and nuke this up for six minutes. The one thing that I do do to my baking tray I've got a piece of parchment on here because I don't like to scrub and um, I also don't like dirty dishes so make it as easy as possible is I'm giving this like two squirts of olive oil and I got this fancy little sprayer over at Dumb and Maybe and I don't know how much it costs. It's been years and I have well gotten my money out of it. And so just two little squirts and then I would go ahead and just put enough <clears throat> um, on for tonight's meal. We won't eat this entire bag. That's probably plenty of french fries for tonight because we're going to have the veg to go with it. And then, I can't get this bag open. Oh, yes, I can. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. And let's see what it says here. It says that the serving size is five pieces. Okay. Adding a little bit of olive oil just helps these crisp up a little bit. <clears throat> and pan fries them. I think they're delicious this way. And then I'm going to put one on for the pig, the pig pin. Because he will be really disappointed if we have chicken fingers and he does not get any. He will throw a little dog fit, and he's in his bed right now, and he's having his, his pre-dinner nap <laughs> because his life is so hard. He was barking outside a lot today, so maybe he is really tired. Bless his heart. And then what else will I do? I've got this. Tony Chacher uh, seasoning. It's a Creole kind of a seasoning. And we do like this on our fry mix. 
And, and I will just pop this in the oven. Put these back in the freezer for another meal. I'll just roll these up and just kind of loop a rubber band around them and put them back in the freezer for another time. But we have plenty of meals out of them. Okay, in this bowl we have two of these large size spoons full of mayonnaise, <clears throat> about a teaspoon of regular yellow mustard that I got at the dollar store, probably, and some spicy brown mustard, a good amount of that, and add some granulated garlic to your taste and then we will also add in some honey that makes it the honey mustard and that may or may not be enough anyhow I'm going to give this a swirl a little mix up and I love making this honey mustard because I think it's delicious but I also like it because when I make it I think about my old boss Charlie and he loved this honey mustard when I worked in the kitchen. He would beg me to make it for him all the time. And when I wanted to butter him up, I would make him his own jar. And that was always just a great guy. You know what, Charlie? If you're out there, you're a great guy and you're a great boss. And I do miss you. Okay, so I don't feel bad about um, not sticking to my meal plan because I'm tired. And I got a lot of things accomplished today, and that's okay. Sometimes you just kind of have a junky dinner. We've got all the food groups covered. We've got a veg and protein and a starch and honey mustard. And, and I'm just using a little toothpick to taste because sometimes it needs a little more mustard. Sometimes it needs a little more honey. Sometimes, well, that was a lot. Sometimes it just needs a little bit more, and it's easy to taste with a toothpick, and um, it keeps my fingers out of it. And food safety, food, food safety, yeah, that's a real thing. And hopefully I have enough to last a couple of days, so I don't want it contaminated with anything else so that it lasts really nicely in the refrigerator. Ooh, ooh, we're almost there. Actually, I think it go could go for another good squeeze of honey. And I know I already put some in, but I thought that was a lot. But maybe just a tad bit more mustard. And sometimes I think it depends on my taste for the day. Sometimes I want a little more mustardy. Sometimes it needs to be a little more sweet. Um, sometimes... It needs salt sometimes. You know, we're like, we'll, we'll go ahead and put some of this chachers in there just for giggles. And that's some. I don't know how much. It's some. And I buy these to fix at the dollar store. And I don't care how many I use because there are a ton in here. 250 toothpicks. So whatever it is, it's worth it for food safety. And then I don't have to wash three teaspoons, which is a lot. That's a lot. Okay, this is delicious. Hello, I'm throwing things on the floor now. Okay, so now we have a delicious honey mustard. And we're just about there. I got a lot of stuff accomplished today. I cleaned the bathroom, I did some vacuuming, I did some laundry, I unloaded the dishwasher, I took out the trash. And what I want to say is well, we're busy. You can't stick to your meal plan. It'll be okay. I've got good intentions with this meal.